I, I really like my hometown. It's, it was such a great place to grow up because the schools are really, really good there, the public schools. And um, it's close enough to Seattle that it's not a, not a problem to get up to Seattle. So you can go to a baseball game, go to a football game, whatever, and you have all the kind of the luxuries of the big city. But it's also not stressful at all. Everyone in Olympia is really relaxed, and I just I couldn't imagine a better place to grow up. I have two younger sisters. Uh, one of them is a senior in high school, so she's going through college applications right now. Uh, her name's Erica, and then my sister Deirdre is a freshman, and she is just starting high school. I've been here a little over a week, not counting Scotland. Um, well, I've had some bike mishaps. Uh, my back wheel got stolen uh, at one point, and I managed to crash, and this stuff happened. So it's been a little interesting, but I'm getting used to it, and I absolutely love being here. I wouldn't trade it for the world. My dorm's great. My roommate's awesome. Uh, my dorm is... I mean, the room's a little small, but that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, but my, my roommate is super cool. Uh, we have a lot of fun together. I actually played baseball for a, probably longer than I've played any other sport, including golf. But basketball was my second best sport in high school. And it was incredibly fun because in the winter in Washington, it's kind of tough to play too much golf. So basketball was a great way to stay in shape and keep busy. I just played with uh, our, my teammate Patrick Rogers last night and we're really going to do that a lot during the year. I'm taking this class called Introduction to Earth Systems where we talk about uh, the different ecosystems on the Earth and climate change and how that's all going to relate to the future of the planet. And that's something that I'm really interested in and it applies towards my possible major, which is environmental science or earth science. So I'm really interested in that class because it's a topic that I've, I really have a passion for. I played my first round of golf probably in fifth grade. Uh, I actually picked up the game as my dad was picking up the game. He got a set of clubs for his like, 10th year with this company he was working for and so he was like well might as well go play and then I'd been playing baseball forever so he figured might as well bring me along and so I didn't start playing seriously until 7th or 8th grade so I'm a little bit of a late bloomer by college golf standards but um, it was cool because for a while my dad and I were the same skill level but then I just got better than him and now now I beat him all the time. Everett Golf and Country Club in the second round of the Washington State Championship in 2010 nice. and that that round changed my life 65 before that I hadn't really had any I, I'd won our like the qualifying district tournament to get into state I'd won that which was a big step for me um, but going into state I was kind of putting a lot of pressure on myself because go, uh, playing college golf was a huge goal for me and I hadn't performed up to that level yet um, and after the first round I was not in position to win the tournament but that second round I just I mean, I chipped in from 40 yards for eagle. I made a downhill 25 footer on the last green that was going to go 20 feet past. It was like everything just went right, and it was it was such an incredible feeling. I, it's still like, if that round hadn't happened, I don't know if I would have had the confidence to go play as well as I did the rest of my junior career and end up here. So, it's just it's crazy how one day can just totally change the trajectory of your life. Everything about Stanford is like is just like a cut above everything at every other school. It's the golf facility is the best in the country. Uh, the, the school is amazing. And you don't have to give anything up. You can be a, an incredible student and an incredible golfer at the same time. And there's nowhere else in the country that uh, provides that. My mom went here, actually. She, uh, she graduated in 1982. And so, yeah, my, my parents were ecstatic. According to our statistical analysis software, I'm horrible at putting. Like, I, my, my handicap is, I think, plus five for the rest of my game and then, like, ten for putting. So that's my weakness. And, you know, my short game's good, my ball striking is really good, but my putting really needs some work. They're both really good guys, and they both have professional golfing experience. Um, and that was a big deal. Uh, Coach Rowe and, and Coach Ray are both really, very, really, very skilled players. And it's, it's really good to be able to learn from them. They also really know what they're doing in terms of just team management and leadership. So it's, it's a really good match. I have really nerdy TV tastes. I like um, Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek, and um, I watch a lot of sci-fi. <laughs> My goal is to you know, really, really contribute to the team. I think that I can, and I think that I have all the skills to go out and really make some noise in the college level. And I just want to go perform up to the level that I know that I can.